and feel free to answer the question of the day. What do you think our static squirrel encounter will be? Ooh, oh, a Kadabra? Oh, yeah. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Michael here with a playthroughs for you, bringing you episode number eight of our Hardcore Iron Man Randomized Nuzlocke, and we're going to straight into the action. It has been a while since I have recorded. I've had a lot of footage on Backstock. I've been working on another project um, for a different channel that I will be starting. Don't know when that'll be. It's going to be a, sort of like a fun fun project, and it's not Pokemon related. But I am pretty excited to get that going. So I looked over the team here just because I couldn't remember what we had. But it's looking good. Our team's looking strong. Just go ahead and use Earthquake. We've got a good variety of uh, Pokemon. We got a Machop. We've got a Ponyta. We've got, of course, our beautiful legend, Rhydon. We've got a Victory Bell that we're now going to use. We've got Mr. Krabs, the Kingler. And then we also have Ray, the Golbat. So, it's looking good. It's looking real good. Beautiful Sandy here. Oh, we did over half. That's nice. Hyper Fang. That did a good amount of damage. Alright. I hope you guys are excited. You know, to continue this series. It has been very interesting. Uh, to say the least. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to make it. Some people think I'll make it. Um just before Lieutenant Surge. Uh, and I don't know. I'm thinking I'm thinking we might make it to the Pokemon League. Like, we've unlocked a lot of heals, but of course, you know, if we use one in a town, then, you know, we, we can't add any more to that, whatever it is. So if I go heal on Saffron right now, I can only heal there three times total. But we're not going to do that to ourselves. We're not going to do that. A beautiful Zapdos, huh? We're definitely switching to Legend. So it seems like a good idea. I'm not taking a Drill Peck or a, a Thundershock on a Machop. Cool. Just going for Thundershock. Nice, nice. It's a Stomp. Use Horn Attack here. Good stuff. I am personally really excited for next weekend. Um, for those of you who don't know... I play Magic the Gathering, and a pre-release is next week, and I'm so pumped to get all of my product, and I'm hoping that the governor of Virginia will allow the store to open up, which will let us do pre-release. I love doing pre-release. It's so much fun. Uh, but if not, then I will not... I will not be able to play, which will be super unfortunate, but I'll still get all of my products. And I'll have fun. This corset looks insane. But yeah, I'm super excited. Super excited about that. Alright, well, we've made it. We've made it to the third badge area. And I'm not going to heal now. That's certainly not happening. I'm going to come over here and fight these trainers. I'm going to buy some Pokeballs, though, because that is the only thing I can buy. Just buy a lot. 35 seems like a good number. So we can get our random encounter for the town, which we're going to do right now. And then we can get our random encounter in Diglett Cave. And then our random encounter over to the route over here. So. We will see. We will see. We will see. Cool. Let's get that off the screen. <laughs> oh my. I swear I did not do this on purpose. <laughs> I did not even look in my bag before I bought this. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. That's hilarious. What's it gonna be? If it's a legendary, we're probably not capturing it because we do not have anything good. Wow, it's a Diglett. Okay. 
we're just gonna try and capture the little guy. If we catch him, I've got the name. I've got a name for him. I'm not too concerned about Diglett doing any damage to us here. We got him! What are we gonna name him? We're gonna name him Ralph. We're naming him Ralph. Yes. Boom, and he's in the PC, safe and sound, away from all the death and destruction that is the Hardcore Iron Man a Nuzlocke mode. And for those of for those of you that are joining us, maybe for the first time, uh, the series link is in the description down below, so go ahead and check that out uh, when you get the chance after this episode. And feel free to answer the question of the day. What do you think our static Squirtle encounter will be? Ooh, oh, the, a Kadabra? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna have to switch here. I just hit a button. Oops. All right. <sighs> we'll put Ray in. I'm real concerned about us one hitting this thing. I don't even know if this thing knows confusion though. We're gonna confuse Ray. It we missed. Thanks to Kinesis. We're missing again. All right, all right. Another confuse ray. We'll eventually hit it, right? Like, we'll eventually hit one. <laughs> there we go. And now we're just gonna start chucking pokeballs, cause like this thing is golden. I want this. Okay. Like we should be good to catch it, honestly. As long as it doesn't kill itself. Hopefully it doesn't kill itself. I'm not going to go for another confusion. And we get it! Yes! This is so good. Oh my gosh. We're naming him Nebly. I don't even know where I came up with that. But that's what we got. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's so good. Just gonna zoom past. A polywag would have been bad. Because we can't even buy a water stone. I mean, will this encounter be good? I mean, we're, we're gonna see. Who knows? You guys get three encounters in one episode? What is this? It's a Caterpie. Of course it's good. What? Come on. What kind of dumb question is that? Will it be good? It's a Caterpie. Of course it's good. We're gonna catch him. We're gonna catch him. That's right. Is this even a Nuzlocke? What is this? We've captured like everything. A worm. <clears throat> we're naming him Leon. All right, so that's all of our static encounters that we're gonna be able to get in this town. Other other than our Squirtle. But we get that after Lieutenant Surge, so. We're gonna go ahead and switch out Merlin. And we're gonna grab that Kadabra. Deposit Merlin. Withdraw, where is he? Is it Nebly? Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at remembering what I named my Pokemon. <laughs> it is. Let's look at this bad boy. Oops. Teleport. That's speed and special stat. Alright, so we're going to put him up front. Because at level 16 he should, in theory, learn confusion. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that is the case. Remember, no grinding on wild Pokemon. What what we fight is what we get. That's the experience we're left with. So we're going to try and clear out these trainers by only using one heal by the time we're done. Because um, the boat's probably going to take us to... I hope not, though. 
Nebly. What a legend. We have legend. I mean, that's who we're going to be using. I did check. It had been a while since I have recorded between episodes. Please don't get burned. All right, cool. Uh, okay, we have to dodge another burn. I don't have any more heals back in Cerulean, so... We have three here. Since we're at X plus one, we've got two gem badges. So we've got three. All right, that was pretty easy. He said, that's not right. I know, dude. I have such a powerful team. I mean, you had a Magmar, though. So... Of course, we got this guy. He's uh, the gambler. I'll be honest. Like, I'm having a lot of fun with this, and I can't wait to just continue like generation through generation doing this, because it's gonna be a lot of fun. I am pumped. We're gonna switch to Lee, because we have low kick, and I really hope we don't get stomped out here. Supersonic. All right, it missed. We've got that fat low kick on the Lickitung. Might one hit it. Nope. That's okay. Wrap. Oh, it missed. Beautiful. Oh, we missed. That's not good. Disable. I don't think it really matters what it hits. Cried shot. Boom. Good job, Lee. Maybe you'll hit 22. Nebly's level 16. Please learn confusion. Yes! Oh, it's so big! We're gonna have him a champ and an Alakazam on our team. That's... That is insane. Are we gonna switch? Yeah, we are. And do you know why? Because self-destruct and explosion are moves, people. And I'm not I'm not risking it. We also have Earthquake, so... We'll just one hit. I could have done, like, a little switch training there, but... You know, it's all good. Maybe Legend will hit level 30. Nope. Not close. Didn't hear the little ding at the end. So that's two trainers down. Got like eight more. <laughs> There's a lot of trainers on this route. Gosh, someone, so someone in my Facebook, the Facebook page that I have, which by the way, the link for that is also down in the description below. Oh, that's a Venusaur. Hmm. We're faster. We have Ray. I don't even know why I was contemplating that. We have Ray. Anyway, as I was saying, my Facebook, my Facebook, my Facebook, somebody had posted them playing Pokemon Blue on an original handheld Game Boy, not even a Game Boy Color, on a Game Boy. And when I bought my first Pokemon game, it was Pokemon Blue, I didn't have a Game Boy, my aunt had one. I remember going over to my grandmother's house, and my aunt, like, had a lot of her stuff at my grandmother's house, including her Game Boy. And I played that. Oh, that what a summer that was, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you. That was a summer. We'll switch Nebly. And then we'll switch back over. It just... There was so much nostalgia. And then there was another game that I played a lot on her Game Boy. She had it. I didn't have it. It was like... Uh, it was like Donkey Kong. But... It was like a different Donkey Kong. I don't remember what it was. I'll have to look it up. But you played as like Mario. And you're trying to save, you know, the princess and everything. And you like, you just progressively went through the levels. Like, they were called worlds. And I think there was like nine or ten of them or something. The game was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing that. And you could save, of course. But there were like puzzle games. You had to like get a key and like unlock the door to get to the next level and like you had lives and stuff but I had a lot of fun playing that in Pokemon Blue definitely some good times I'll tell you that we're going to be utilizing all of our Pokemon Hyper Fang missed that's good Ray so much damage but yeah, as you can see, oh my gosh, I didn't even, this is the first, this is the first video you guys have seen since we've hit our sub goal. We hit our sub goal on June 17th, 33 days after making our channel. I am absolutely thrilled. 
that we have managed to hit it. Thank you all so much. I really hope this Abra doesn't know confusion. I don't think it learns confusion. It would have went forth there if it did, maybe. Wow, that was like no damage that we did. So we'll just go for wrap since it's a that's a physical attack. But yeah, we hit our sub goal. So now I want to try and hit 200 by August 1st of 2020. I have no idea if that'll happen. If it does, does. If it doesn't, no big deal. We're going to be pushing out content every single day, ladies and gentlemen. That is the goal. That is what we're going to be doing. I have some backlogged content, and I think I'm just going to redo some of the stuff that I have. Um, I've learned a lot. I have learned a lot. So... I don't want to send Sandy in. Probably just dies. We'll switch into Legend because we have Earthquake. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to... After this, I'm going to start switching up some stuff that we do. Maybe some, like, playthroughs of some ROM hacks because um, a lot of people like, you know, story elements of Pokemon 2. And just seeing a new game that people have never seen before. So maybe we'll drop, like, one or two of those episodes scattered throughout the week. That'll be pretty cool. Um, we'll, we'll actually bring in Nebly and we'll actually use him. Because Confusion, I think, is super effective against Butterfree. And whatever Butterfree uses on us is not going to kill us. I promise you that. Maybe it won't even attack us. Poison Powder? That sucks. We're going to have to heal now. Unless we have an Antidote, but I don't think we do. Or I can always deposit Nebly. We're going to have to switch. Not even risking this. I can always deposit Nebly until we need to use the Pokemon Center. Sleep Powder. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. <laughs> this is unfortunate. All right. So Ray finished off there. Cool. Well, let's switch. Well, we have teleport, so that's nice. We'll switch a Lee into the front. And if we run into a wild Pokemon on our way back to the Pokemon Center, we didn't, so. Yes. Uh, that's right, we didn't use the one in in Viridian. So we're going to deposit. It's not going to heal him. But it's going to save us from having to uh, eventually lose him. Because I don't want to lose him. And we're going to make our way back down there. But that is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching episode 8 of our, our randomized Nuzlocke our hardcore Iron Man randomized nose lock. Go ahead and answer the question of the day that is scrolling down. Of course, in the description below, there are a couple links that you guys might want to check out, like my Facebook page and the series playlist. Uh, and until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out. Thanks so much for watching.